Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking Unscripted. Today's episode is the last episode before Halloween. Now, there's a lot of things I was called as a kid. Some I can say on camera, some are still dealing with in therapy. The one thing I was always referred to is right here. Where's your honky mask? How many people did you kill? Did you know that today's Friday the 13th? Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to lay on the couch after this. Get over it, yeah, right? That's what my friend said too. Oh, so-called friends. Actually, I have a guy in my martial arts class that at least once every two weeks will make a, some sort of Jason Voorhees comment about my hockey mask. I prefer just to be called Jason, you know? It's, yeah. Anyway, this is my wife's favorite shirt I just found out. Which one's your favorite? I don't have a Michael Myers one. That would be your favorite? Michael Myers would be your favorite. Even second place to my wife, Michael, Jason. Anyway, today's recipe is going to be vanilla gelato and a white chocolate blondie. Apparently, my mother-in-law, Deb, this is for you. Tom, make it for her, just saying. Uber easy. If you've got a ice cream maker, which we do here, we're gonna make the base for our gelato, get it into the ice cream maker, and then we'll make our blondie. First and foremost, we've got four egg yolks. Now, you can buy pasteurized egg yolks. We're actually gonna heat the milk to 185 degrees and then we'll add in our egg yolks, which will actually help pasteurize the egg yolks. We are going to add our sugar, and we are going to blend this until it's nice and fluffy. Have you ever seen the movie Leprechaun? Jennifer Aniston's first movie? It's terrible. Favorite horror movie? Horror, not gore, not like Saw 17. I don't think monsters are scary. Like the blob to me isn't scary. Like Psycho, more suspense. For me, growing up as a kid, the house on Haunted Hill scared the living bejesus out of me, and they don't show anything. It's yeah. just voices and noises, and it scared the living shit out of me. Like The Exorcist? Yeah. Because that shit is, hits way too close to home. What are you making a face for? That's because you're sort of dead on the inside. <laughs> the first Hellraiser? Yeah. We were just talking, The Exorcist 3 scared the fuck yeah. out of me. Or the original Omen? You've never seen The Omen? It's the, about the birth of the Antichrist. Anyway, back to cooking. So our egg yolks and sugar, nice and fluffy and runny. We are going to take our milk and please, 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 please. I can't say that stress this enough. Do not scald, burn your milk and do not walk away from it. If it bubbles over, milk, heavy cream, it can cause a fire, you burn everything down, you're homeless, and then you're raising a GoFundMe page. Don't walk away from any sort of cream or anything on the stove. You should never walk away from the stove, period. But make sure, especially when there's milk or cream. Yeah. Just a tip. Oh, we're making ice cream. This is Daisy's episode. We haven't, we haven't said much about Daisy. So when we serve the ice cream, we gotta put the apron on and everything. So, okay, so favorite movie monster? Movie monster. I like Arlo. I have no idea what that is. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you were talking like Monsters Inc, we were gonna have a problem. Movie monsters? I'm, I'm thinking more like Dracula, Mummy, Wolfman, Dr. Frankenstein, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, The Blob. Favorite line from Van Helsing is, why does it smell like wet dog in here? <laughs> and of course, Kate Beckinsale. So we wanna get our milk up to 185 degrees. So we use a thermometer, you can use a candy thermometer. And we got like two degrees to go. We are there. So heat off, milk's off. Milk's off, I'm running out of space. Need a bigger house. We are going to add a cup of heavy cream. So we are going to add our heavy cream to our milk mixture. And that will actually cool the milk a little bit. You know, you gotta be able to use both hands. Sometimes you need a stranger. We are going to slowly add the milk. If you add it too quickly, you'll actually curdle your eggs and you'll end up with scrambled eggs and then you gotta start all over again. It is called tempering. Now that our milk, eggs, heavy cream, sugar, everything's in there, we got the beauty. Can I sniff this? Can I snort this? I snort it would hurt. Oh God, that would hurt. Oh, that would hurt. A little bit of vanilla in my life. I love that song. Who sings Mambo number five? We got our research team working on it. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of singing that song now because it's fucking in there. 
So we've got our little Cuisinart ice cream maker. Cuisinart, I shouldn't have said that, but whatever. That's what editors are for. Cuisinart, help a brother out. Is that better? <laughs> We're gonna put our ice cream in there. They say to let it cool first. It doesn't necessarily need to, it just takes a little bit longer. On there, we'll turn it on and it does this thing. It's a great little machine. I like it. We've used it quite often. We'll set our ice cream, gelato. Favorite murder weapon? Chainsaw, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh yeah. It's hard to get when you watch movies like Saw, like how creative. See, I am definitely one of those peoples when you see a logging truck, my ass is not behind it. <laughs> Final destination. No, I'm saying, but like, I don't get behind a logging truck. So we are going to make a blondie, a brown butter blondie. And first thing we gotta do is we gotta brown butter. You wanna be very careful with this because if you let it go too far, you end up with burnt butter and you don't wanna do that. If you don't go far enough, then you don't get the flavor of the brown butter, which is this nutty, wonderful aroma that my wife was drooling over yesterday. It adds a, la a level of flavor to the blondie that you wouldn't get with just regular butter. So that's what we're gonna do as we continue to talk about horror movies. What's your favorite horror movie? What's your favorite scary movie? And if you say scary movie, bonus points. Scream, was the original Scream scary? No, not really, right? It's more creepy, like creepy in a predo kind of way. I'm in, the, um, I'm in the house or whatever. Is that what he says at the beginning to Drew Barrymore? What's your favorite scary movie? It sounds more like a pickup line. What's your favorite scary movie? For you, it would be like, what's your favorite serial killer movie? It'd be like Ted Bundy. Yeah, but if we don't tell them, it'd be like, hey, grab, but ticket, oh, like erupted. I'm no, I don't think I've ever seen the Dahmer one. I met somebody that grew up around the street from him and knew him. I'm trying to remember who it was though. You do not want it to burn. It's one of those things where it pops and pops and pops and then it stops. And that's how you kind of know when it's done. So it's a little foamy, but the foaming will go away. But you can kind of see the brownness in the butter and it will continue just a little bit more. There's some brown bits on the bottom from the butter solids. And we're gonna let this cool for a minute and then we're gonna add our brown sugar. So we're going to add our brown sugar to our butter and just get that in there. Mix it all up. Our ice cream is starting to thicken. And that's what you're left with. It's nice brown, sugary, wonderful goodness. To the bowl we are going to add our flour, our salt. We are going to add some vanilla extract. So, a couple eggs. Bam. Give him a good beating. We're going to add our egg mixture, our beaten eggs to our sugar and butter. Get it all mixed in. And then you got what looks like batter. From here, we're going to add this to this. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. It's wonderful. Make sure we scrape out the last of this, those nice brown bits in there. And then I'm gonna add both chocolate chips and white chocolate chips, cause why not? Cause I can, All right? I can. My wife wanted both from Silent Hill. Tell people you're a psychopath without telling people you're a psychopath. Okay. So we're going to put this into an aluminum foil line pan. You can grease it, flour it. I prefer the aluminum foil, it actually, makes it much easier to clean. Ooh, this is a little sticky. Got some chocolate swirl going on. And this will go into a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes. So now that our blondie is out of the oven and cool enough to handle, we're gonna take it out. We are going to unwrap it like Christmas morning when we're trying to save the paper for next Christmas. Here's the inside. We're just gonna make it Sort of pretty, but sort of not. That's good, right? Do we need more? Our ice cream, which is very wonderfully wonderful. It just made absolutely no sense.
We'll be right back after this commercial break. Okay, let's see if I know how to use this spoon. It's called a Rocher spoon. And you push in that way. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, this is my new favorite thing in the world. That's pretty fucking perfect. You can't even see it. I don't think you can see it. Can you see Daisy? Do we need caramel? Or in my wife's words, car caramel? That sounds so weird. It's caramel or is it caramel? Is it caramel? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it looks good. Oh, oh, oh. Anyway, this shit is fucking phenomenal. Make it ice cream, uber easy. Thank you Cuisinart for letting me buy this. My wife's off to the side waiting to indulge in some caramel brown butter blondies with ice cream. So are those two back there. So we're gonna get to eating. I will see you guys next time. Like, subscribe, notify. What's the other one? Ring, ring, ring my bell. And, but just don't tell my wife. And I will see you guys next time. Much love. The love of my life. <laughs>